10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and lift off. Vehicles pushing downrange. Chamber pressure is nominal. We are T plus 42 seconds into flight. Falcon 9 has cleared its tower and we're currently throttling Power down the tree in preparation for max Q. That should be coming up in about 20 seconds. Max Q is where the vehicle will experience the highest amount of aerodynamic pressures. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Max Q. And you heard the call out. We've passed the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Falcon 9 is now headed south uh, along the Florida coast. All is looking good with the first stage trajectory. We have five events coming up in quick succession in about a minute. Uh, the first is main engine cutoff, also known as NICO, uh, followed by stage separation, where the two stages will separate from one another. Uh, the first stage will then perform a flip to head back towards Florida and uh, the, the MVAC engine on the second stage will uh, form second engine start one and ignite that MVAC engine. Then the first stage will also begin its first of three burns, the boost back burn. And this is a view from the top of uh, Falcon 9 looking down towards the nine Merlin engines at the bottom of the first stage. Stage separation confirmed. Uh, and there you uh, saw on screen, we had successful stage separation. The first stage started performing its flip maneuver. And the boost back burn uh, should be ending in about 25 seconds. Stage one boost back shut down. And there was confirmation of a successful boost back burn. Again, that is the first of three burns for the first stage. Coming up next is fairing deploy in a few seconds here from the top of the second stage. Fairing separation confirmed. Off come the two fairing halves, and they have separated and fallen away from the vehicle, exposing the 88 spacecraft to the vacuum of space. As a reminder, the recovery vessel, HOS Briarwood, will be attempting to recover the fairing halves today from the water. So we are about T plus four minutes and 20 seconds into flight. We have a couple of views on screen. On the right-hand side is a view of our second stage Merlin vacuum engine, also known as the MVAC engine. It's currently in the first of two MVAC burns. This burn should last for uh, until the T plus eight minute and 24 second mark. About another four minutes left on this burn. And uh, the next milestone will be for the first stage to perform its entry burn. That's what you're seeing on the left-hand side of your screen. 
Falcon 9 needs to execute an entry burn to slow itself down before hitting the dense parts of the atmosphere. And without this burn, relying on the atmosphere alone to slow Falcon 9 down would put unnecessary strain on the rocket. Vehicle is on a nominal trajectory. The call out for a nominal trajectory. Everything's looking great so far on the Transporter 2 mission. You also notice some honeycomb-like structures have deployed uh, on the first stage on the left-hand side. Uh, that, that, those are our four hypersonic grid fins positioned at the base of the inner stage. They help to orient the rocket during re-entry by moving the center of pressure. Um, there's also some plumes of gas coming out. Uh, this is cold nitrogen gas, which helps with attitude control. Both are essential to make sure that we have a nice targeted landing back on landing zone one later on in today's mission. The second burn, the entry burn, is coming up in about 30 seconds. Watch for that on the left-hand side. Uh, you can also uh, see there's a speedometer of sorts uh, on the bottom left-hand side. That tracks the speed of the first stage. And when we begin the entry burn, we'll start to reduce the speed. And shortly after the entry burn ends, um, we'll hit the denser parts of the atmosphere and also begin to further reduce our velocity as the first stage continues to make its way back towards Earth. Stage two, FTS is saved. Stage one, entry burn start up. There's the call out, and you can see on screen that three Merlin engines have relit and are currently slowing down the first stage. This burn is expected to last for another 15 seconds or so. Vehicle on a nominal trajectory. Stage one entry burn shut down. And successful completion of our second of three burns. As I mentioned earlier, we are going to be attempting to recover the booster for an eighth time back on land at landing zone one. The first stage, stage one has one more burn left, the landing burn. It, it begins just before we touch down and provides the booster with a soft descent before we land. At the same time Falcon lands, we are expecting sequel one of our second stage. That's second engine cutoff. Um, and shortly after that, we'll be entering a coast phase. And you can see stage the Florida entry, coast and landing zone one are approaching on the left-hand side of the screen as this booster makes its attempt to land Landing for an eighth up. time. Oh, this is a great shot of the first stage coming down with its landing stage burn. Stage two internal guidance. Stage one, London Lake deployed. That was as smooth as I'd seen it. Uh, we had phenomenal shots all the way through the landing burn. You heard the sonic booms. This booster has landed for the eighth time. Uh, that is the 89th recovery of an orbital class rocket. Stage one, nominal landing confirmed. And what a way to start nominal off the Transporter 2 mission. Uh, at the same time, we did have successful second stage, uh, second engine cutoff and confirmation of a nominal orbital insertion. We are now going to coast for the next 45 minutes or so while we wait for second engine start two. Uh, just a few minutes after that, we'll begin to deploy the 88 spacecraft on board this mission. We will see you back here around the T plus 53 minute and 30, mi uh, 30 second mark.